Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to do a quick sketch and some inks and tones on Bloodshot. As you might be familiar if you've been in touch with the Hollywood side of uh, the web, uh, Bloodshot is Uh, an upcoming movie but uh, long before it was a it was a movie it was one of uh, several intriguing characters I would say that I found like very interesting to to delve in uh, with regards to uh, how the storyline was created and how uh, the character was uh, portrayed. Uh, there are not too many, uh, there aren't any versions of Bloodshot, but yes, there has been a metamorphosis in terms of the storytelling. And, uh, and as Valiant Comics has uh, published uh, Bloodshot, faithfully uh, these past years the character has gone from a controlled uh, asset of the government that's how it's portrayed that he is a, a soldier that is pretty much uh, revitalized following fatal injuries and he has been <coughs> infused with uh, nanites so small microtech that has biological uh, implications in it and which enhances the uh, healing prowess of bloodshot and makes him a very very deadly uh, adversary to deal with because he can pretty much heal himself just like the character Wolverine but the only difference is that this is in a trained military military soldier who has I think strength uh, super strength pretty much so we're doing a generic sketch here let's have him look up well, we are at it, and apparently Vin Diesel is playing Bloodshot in the upcoming movie, but uh, my allegiance of the character sticks with the published material by Valiant Comics. So, Bloodshot was... Uh, <clears throat> created by I think there were at least like two two key names there and we're going over the sketch I mean this is a routine uh, exercise and uh, how we are just putting this out so um, as mentioned bloodshot was essentially created by uh, I think there were like think two or three uh, mainstay uh, comic uh, what you say expert minds who converged and uh, gave life to the character so one of them was of uh, Bob Layton who was also instrumental in founding Valiant Comics with Jim Shooter you get the Google this up and I mean you'll find the information if it is of any consequence but yes I think they do deserve their due even with just this character and there's others like there's a or so the, one of their others that I think that we should be drawing shortly down the line will be Ninjak so Dylan uh, Bob Dylan oh, sorry Bob uh, my apologies uh, Bob Layton 
uh, was, um, how should we put it, uh, also uh, involved with moral, one with moral comics before this, uh, and they were with Valiant, uh, with, with titles like Iron Man, and uh, the Iron Man being, being one of the more uh, prominent characters that he worked on. And also he also worked with uh, DC Comics on like different projects with uh, like prominent names again. Jeff Jones, Steve Ditko, but uh, also the, uh, the, the, the other uh, mind that uh, was also involved with uh, creating Bloodshot was uh, uh, Kevin Hook, Kevin Van Hook. And uh, Kevin Van Hook uh, was uh, uh, also involved in like numerous projects, even like movie projects like um, Miss Congeniality. So what we're trying to just do is get the tools in sync and creating a sort of a rifle here for good old bloodshot to wield. When it's uh, we're talking about soldier of course we're talking about big honking guns. Now Sometimes when he wears this uh, vest and his hair is being portrayed uh, to be uh, like different, like there's a certain, uh, let's say, uh, versions in which there's this very receding hairline on the sides, but I think for the most part he is uh, being shown with the normal uh, hairline, with which I prefer. Because that other one like makes him a bit um, too like out of uh, whack. So there he's known for this uh, big uh, uh, red target on his chest. Uh, sometimes when I mean, he's portrayed like right through clothing, which I think is I don't know I mean if there was an explanation for that, but sometimes it's just. Uh, Uh, shown on his skin. Sometimes there's actual like tones infused into it, giving the impression of like body paint. And sometimes it's just so shown as a solid red. I prefer the solid red because it uh, really uh, stands out more. Uh, and as as I was mentioning, so uh, we were talking about uh, uh, Kevin Van uh, Hook. So he was involved in like many key projects for like for instance like movies. We're talking about uh, uh, what do we say, Portrait of a Vampire, Miss Congeniality, but he was also instrumental in comic projects like Flash Gordon, and we're talking about uh, uh, in movies also. There was I remember Will Smith's movie uh, I Robot. He was instrumental in writing Duties in I Robot in. Uh, Ben Affleck's Daredevil. So he is like a pro, like in, in that sense. And I mean, the work in Bloodshot, in, in the published uh, format, does show. So we're just doing some pens and we're just using the pen to get some fine line work going there. or trigger finger with a trigger and with let's just put that in I mean it's a little messy right now but of course we are going to make this uh, stand out a little more when as soon as we throw some quick inks and 
they will be very quick inks because we are doing a sketch and we were we we're back to again while we are just putting out some details here we're back to discussing the creators or the creative uh, endeavor behind bloodshot so um, uh, as we, um, we were, I think we were speaking about uh, uh, Kevin Van Hook. So since you know, like the, the uh, like quite a long uh, time back, uh, he was uh, involved in uh, these different projects. So Flash Gordon, as I mentioned, and there was some kind of a horror uh, to, uh, aspect story with. From DC with Superman and Batman, where I think there's either vampires or werewolves involved, he was instrumental in bringing that story uh, to the forefront, and so which was you know like uh, uh, something out of the box when we are talking about uh, uh, storytelling with a character like Superman and Batman in tow, and then. Also for uh, DC uh, Comics, he helped with the well-known character, but often underrated, the the android uh, Red Tornado. We should actually do a Red Tornado, Red Tornado piece like down the line somewhere. Very cool design. Okay, so just doing some pens. As we, as I'm blabbing away about the creative endeavor behind Bloodshot. Okay, so let's look from a different angle here. I think it's sketch is pretty much in place because we want to keep this as generic as possible. And uh, so, those were. Uh, some there's some like feet um sorry some background look into the creation of this character now the the movie i'm not sure if it's going to portray uh, all the uh, aspects in that same way because uh, bloodshot i mean according to the comics i mean there's some variations always in the way these characters are portrayed. Uh, what I mean to say is, so we're going to throw in tones. Let's say that there's a light source coming from above. Bloodshot is often, often portrayed in this manner. And we are just, uh, it's like a sort of a homage, I guess, to the various art. Uh, I mean, you'll see if you Google images, he usually has these, uh, he's rocking these pants, uh, military uh, cargo pants, uh, most of the time. I think there has been some versions in which there has been the less than cool spandex type of uh, attire, but this is like really cool. Like it's, uh, he has this like military feel about him and then his skin, I did not mention, as is very synonymous with dead characters in comics, is white. So that 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 little that sorry that big red circle in the middle of his chest really stands out with the contrasting tones. So we are just going to. Take some shortcuts here. See if we can just do some quick, quick inks here for, and that's the that's the whole idea. We are trying to do this as a let's say if it would be a convention sketch, rather than a completed sketch. And then of course you could work on the details as you wish, like later and. But more than that, I would recommend that, yes, you should check out the character if you're not familiar with him. I think it might be uh, good to do, uh, to go through some like good reading 
Uh, that's what I think anyways like bloodshot is a fairly uh, well written comic book just putting a tone here I, I was actually leaning toward a t-shirt then again I always found the idea idea like uh, weird that he had this uh, red thing still showing prominently whether it was a t-shirt whether it was uh, whether he was like bare chested so either way so we're going to switch our format to a sort of a shirt let's say we'll have to add some lines there now to make this work properly just going around putting tones some subtle lines there should work Then black in the in the rifle, sort of uh, contrasting. The white hand. Let's go here. And three. Love working with shadows. that black one of the reasons why we're doing this is because it demonstrates how easy it is to create a quick sketch using just like two or three tools Okay, so the core, the, core, the basic tones are done. What we're going to do is just just have some fabric lines extend there
that. So let's have some like uh, line work there. And that back up again. Yeah, that'll be fine. And of course, our ever essential some bones running like that. But we need our red. Not this red. Grab a more formidable red. eyes and yes feeling satisfied with throwing that in and if you could just bear with me for a second fade out marker for this There we have it. A quick, quick sketch of bloodshot with some core basic tones. Please do check out the movie. Please do check out the books. And I'm sure that you will have a good time. And of course, this guy will be a lot of fun to draw once you understand him more and you can have some different versions going. So thank you very much for uh, watching. We're going to actually make one little thing accurate here. There it is. They almost missed that. But it's all good now. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. Keep in touch. Do check out our content. We uh, pretty much post every day. Uh, and uh, till the next video, have yourself a wonderful day.